I'm riding the big heavy beast and I still outran him on my sport bike. Hmm. <laughs> trying to put my feet back and looking for the pegs. So first I have to start out with a disclaimer. I'm not the one in the thumbnail, that's Derek. Why? Because I'm the one with the YouTube channel, so I always have the camera rolling. And... I'm riding the torque monster. Today on this beautiful ride down in the Pennsylvania Hills, Feels good. we decided to swap bikes. I ride a MB Augusta Brutale 800 RR. Derek rides a Harley Lowrider S. So I want to see what these Harleys are all about. I really gotta pull, pull up to find that shifter. Feels a lot different. I gotta like lift up my whole leg. That could be adjusted though. I immediately feel warmer because there's no wind on my chest. So this was the first big thing I noticed is the wind. Very little of it with this big fairing. Hand guards. Bearing in the hand guards are some of the many accessories on the bike. This bike is by no means stock, so let's talk about some of the accessories. It has a Bassani Road 3 stainless exhaust, a saddleman seat. Well, actually, he got a newer seat that's not on there anymore, so it's not a saddleman. Big Al's lower bend bars, Big Al's 8 inch straight risers, Flomax levers, which do feel very nice, Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing, Bung King crash bars. And most notably, a stage two cam upgrade with a dyno jet tune, putting out 107 horsepower and 131 foot pounds of torque. I can feel those torques. Well, this definitely feels a little different in the twistier roads. Definitely heavier, slower to turn in. Don't have a quick shifter. And that's when I'm missing my quick shifter right there. I downshifted, I'm not used to the mass of a big V twin. So the back wheel seized up. But it's got that torque out of the lower RPM. But that's not the bike's fault, that's my fault. Every time you ride a new bike, it takes a little bit of time to get used to the RPMs. Definitely feel like a badass riding this thing. After a few miles, I got pretty comfortable and started pushing the corners a little harder. And it was right here where I thought I was going to die. I probably was going a little too fast, and it was a blind corner. There really aren't many roads that intersect with this road, so I wasn't really thinking about seeing the potential for any cars to come out. But after that, I needed to stop, cool off, and take a break. Because that was pretty scary. This big heavy Harley is definitely a little more difficult to maneuver on gravel at slow speeds. You should ask Derek about that. And what a view it was here. This is at an overlook off Route 144 in Pennsylvania. I'm still kind of getting used to the way like the RPMs are. Because like I'm used to having like a bigger RPM range to go up higher. Whereas, like, I didn't realize I was, like, riding it kind of high because I'm not, like, I don't can't tell by the sound just, like, getting on it right away. But it was fun. Back at it. The red line on my bike is 13,000 RPMs, and on this Harley it's about 6,000, so it's a huge difference. Earlier in the morning on the ride it was down to 46 degrees. I was freezing. On my bike I have no wind protection. On this, the first thing I felt was instant warmth. The hand guards, the fairing, it really did an awesome job at blowing the air up and around my body instead of hitting me right in the chest. Now I know why I'm always so cold and Derek's not. I guess he's got the better bike for the colder weather. Even though it's not the largest fairing, it really did do a good job of keeping that air off me. I noticed that it was quieter in my helmet, my voice quality was better, and I also couldn't even tell how fast I was going a lot of the times. I'm so used to riding my bike that I judge my speed by the sound and the wind I feel on my chest. There was many times where I looked down, I thought I was going 50, and I was going about 75. And that brings me to my next point. Harley, why did you put the gauges down on the gas tank? I don't know if it's just me, or maybe I'm just getting used to the bike, but it was extremely annoying to have to look down like that to see how fast I'm going where the RPMs are. 
Once you're more used to the bike, you really don't have to look down quite as often. Well, I gotta say, the seat on this thing is fucking comfortable. Jesus. Yeah. I feel like I'm just sitting on a cloud. So I feel like I have way less wind noise because of your fairing. Um, I also like didn't realize how fast I was going either because I don't have that wind noise. I don't have the wind hitting me. Like I didn't. I thought I was just going like 50, and I looked down, I'm going 75. Now I have to say this is one of the most comfortable seats that I've sitting on on a bike. Time out. That was my first real Harley wave where I waved to a Harley while I'm on a Harley. I feel like it's a really a true wave back for the first time. Tight turn coming up. Now I said that seat was comfortable, and it is, but the seating position is something that it's going to take some getting used to for myself. On my bike I'm used to being slightly leaned forward with the bars about a foot lower, the feet about a foot higher and back further. So when I'm going to lean into these turns I was trying to lean my body weight but I had to reach up so far forward and up high to hold on to the bars that it was hard for me to actually lean. I imagine with time I'd get used to it tilt my body a little bit more to the side leaning forward a little but it definitely took some getting used to as we put on a few more miles I got more comfortable with shifting up and down the clutch felt great and I realized at some point you didn't really have to shift down as much as I do because the Harleys have that torque at the lower end where my bike has all the power at the top so there was many times where I downshifted where I really didn't need to but as I rode more I got the hang of it really glad we decided to switch bikes out in the middle of nowhere on a road like this because it really allowed me to get the chance to really feel what this bike can do, feel how it corners, feel how it handles. It was a lot of fun. We're definitely going to be switching more often and mix it up a little bit. Oh yeah! I was actually a little intimidated to ride this bike. Being that it's a lot heavier than mine, I wasn't sure how it would feel on these turns, but it really did feel good and I got used to what it What am quick. I thinking? I don't need to downshift. I got that Harley Torque. It's a very smooth ride, much softer suspension than my bike. My bike is tuned more for a sporty ride where it's much stiffer. And I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't realize how fast I was going off of it, because it was such a smooth ride. But I have to say, I want to start switching bikes with a lot of my friends more to get a feel for theirs, because it's a little intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it after a mile or two, it feels awesome. It's a new challenge. Riding a Harley really does make you feel like a badass every time you hit that throttle coming out of the corner and you hear that low down grunt. Now I know why I see all the Harley riders do it. As I mentioned earlier in the ride, the seating position is much different on here, completely different ergonomics. So my foot actually wasn't where it was supposed to be on the peg. I put it where it felt comfortable, which was back a little bit. Sure enough, the whole time I was resting my foot on his exhaust pipe, and my boots showed it. I don't know how I didn't feel this. I know how I didn't smell it, because I'm going through the wind pretty quick. But I don't know how I didn't feel this, because I almost burned a hole right through my boot all the way to my sock. So now I'm going to have to try and find a way to fix that. And if I do, I'll post a video and I'll put a link up here in the corner. At this point, I don't know how far behind me Derek is, but our cardos have disconnected. So I'm going to try and find a place to pull over and wait for him to catch up. It's kind of funny that I'm always in front of him and I'm on my sport bike and lose him in the twisties. But now I'm on his Harley and I'm still losing him on my sport bike. <laughs> if I knew where he was, I think I would have kept going for another 10, 20 miles because this was one hell of a ride. After riding for about 30 miles on here, I gotta say, it was fun. I could definitely see myself getting a cruiser in the future. I definitely wouldn't want it to be my only bike. I believe that a naked sport bike kind of has the best of both worlds. We have more of an upright, relaxed riding position. It's still a bike that can hit the corners pretty hard. 
But I have to say, this cruiser did a lot better than I was thinking it was gonna. And I'm sure the more I get used to it, the better I would be at riding it. Perhaps maybe I'll get one of those Buell Super Cruisers. I did put my $50 deposit down on that, so hopefully that comes to fruition. Because I would love to get one of those and show up Nate and Derek on their Harleys. Because I believe that that Super Cruiser has everything they want in their Harley that they have to spend twice as much money to get. If, in fact, it does come out at $20,000, like they say. Which, it probably won't. But that does look like one hell of a bike. Well, this looks like a nice place to stop and take a break and wait for Derek to catch up. Well, I gotta say, it's a fun bike to ride. Torque is way different. I'm not used to have to using the clutch to shift because I got a quick shifter that I normally use when I'm in the roads like this. The seat, look at this thing. Ooh, that is comfortable. And Derek should be coming around the mountain when he comes. There he is. I, uh, I pulled over right here. Careful, it's all gravel. <laughs> Just slow down. You got it. You know how to ride. You look like you've done this before. No. No, no, turn other way. Yeah, that's how most bikes are. I don't know why yours is the other way. After our ride, I decided to print out some pictures and frame them for Derek. He liked these two, but for some reason, he didn't like the last one. I wonder why. 